After practice with men's basketball coach at Wallace State, Farron Key. How you doing, Coach? Good. How about you, Christian? Doing great. One of the things you preached on today to your team was defensive urgency. Talk to me a little bit about that and what that looks like for your team. Well, it starts with with being alert and, and understanding to stop the ball in transition first. This is an issue we had a little bit on Saturday at our scrimmages. Uh, stop the ball in transition, knowing which position to be in in relation to the ball in your man. But the urgency is when, when we're beat, get where you're supposed to be, scramble out of that situation, and get back to get back to even, get back to five on five and, and out of your jam. But, you know, at times we've been really, really good at that. And other times it's like we're, we're not connecting the urgency to where we need to be defensively. What was the overall mindset going into today's practice with you and Coach Drew? Well, we started with film sessions, so we're, we're trying to clean up things that we saw that we did poorly on on Saturday, or it could have been better. I guess I, I guess I should say, we're 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 very close to putting some things together where we where we're executing close to what we want from them. Um, but we don't have enough guys that understand offensively still uh, what we're doing, where to be. We're not really crashing the class very hard, so just focusing on the day to day. I mean, nothing special. Just. Better ball pressure on defense, be in the right spots defensively, hit a block out, get a rebound. Offensively, execute. Um, you know, if we get a we got a play call on, execute the play call. If we have nothing called, execute what you see in front of you as it's happening and uh, and then chase the rebound when we shoot it. I noticed we had a couple guys out there a little banged up, but uh, what's the message to them as far as just trying to get rest and recovery and ultimately getting back out there to practice later on? Well, that's you. It's the same with every team. You know, you get you get banged up, you get tired, you get sick, and uh, you know, next guy steps in there and makes the next play. But you know, some of the message is, you know, the difference between being injured and hurt. You know, can you, you know, if you're hurt, you know, you might rub it out a little bit, get back to action. If you're injured. That's a whole different animal. You don't need to be on the court. You need to go get well, you know, and, and and try to get your body right. The biggest thing for us has been conditioning, and I think that's that's kind of where we were today. The conditioning was not quite where it needs to be right now, so we'll hit that a little harder over the next three weeks. Awesome. Anything else you want to tell the people before uh, we get out of here? Uh, we've got a scrimmage on Friday, three o'clock, with Bevel State here at the Tom Drake Coliseum, and we'd like to see you know a few folks come out and support us and. Um, Get a good get a good early look at our team. Well good luck with it. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Chris.